Adam Lerner, and today we are back in Lightroom in that uh, blank slate or empty uh, catalog that now has some images that we imported. And we uh, applied keywords, we applied metadata, and we applied basic sharpening to these images when we imported them. So now what I want to do is I want to go through these images, I want to do an initial sweep, and I want to make my selects. And there's a whole bunch of different ways to do this. You can assign all different kinds of attributes to images when you're, when you're viewing them. You can apply flags and uh, you can apply numbers to rate them. You can apply colors to color code them, okay? What I typically like to do, and I'm not suggesting that this is what everybody needs to do, but I'm gonna say that this is part of my workflow and I really like it, is I like to go through an initial sweep of images and flag the ones that I think are potential keepers. That's my very first line of attack, let's say. And then once I've made my keepers, I'll go through those again, and as I progress, I will narrow it down by potentially doing a rating system. And the cool thing about all of this is that when you're viewing your images, you can use these things as filters. This is what's called filtering. By applying a flag, by applying a rating, you are applying filters so that you can narrow down the amount of images that you're looking at, and you, you don't have to look at the ones that are not keepers. So it to me, it really, enhances the workflow because it, it really allows you to focus on only the images that you're looking to edit. So I'm just going to go through here and one of the things I wanted to just talk about is how do I apply these these different filters? Well, here's the flag. If I wanted to apply this flag, I could just take my mouse and click it. But if I want to really use my work use my keyboard to, you know, have my workflow be more efficient, I'm going to use the arrow keys to go through my images and I'm going to use the keyboard to flag. So if you want to apply a flag, you hit the P key. If you want to unapply a flag, you hit the U key. And that removes the flag. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this images by hitting the space bar, or you can hit the Z key, but I use the space bar. And I'm going to look at these, and my I'm just going to go gut reaction here, okay, and determine which one I might think are keepers. So maybe not. Not really, not really. Uh, I like that one, so I'm going to hit the P key. Mm, not so much, not so much, not so much, not really, uh, not really. Nope, nope, yep, nope. Uh, sure. Mm, it's okay. I like that one better. Um, not so much. Nope, not really. That's not bad. Keep going. And this is a very quick process. In fact, when I do this on my own, I'm, I probably fly through this a lot faster. Um, yep, we'll pick that one. Nope. Yeah, we'll try that one. Nope. That one for sure. And that one, just off the bat, I like so much, I'm actually going to give it a rating. So I'm going to give it three stars. So it's got a flag and stars. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't like that the hands cut off. Okay, that's cool. Nope, not the mouth. Nope, not that. I like that. Very cool. And this one, nah. Nope. This one. Yes, okay. So now what I can do is if I go down to my film strip here, all right, where it says filters, I can go here and I can say flagged. And what's that going to do is that that's going to only show me, if I go back to grid view, these are, out of the 40 images I imported, okay, we've got 11 images that were flagged, okay. Now, let's say I wanted to see images that were rated. I can go rated. And that was the one image that was rated. So we've got filters off. That's 40 images right here. I don't really want to look at the 40 images. Flagged, okay, we've got 11 images here. These are the ones that I really want to focus on. And we've got rated. This one is my favorite. So this is the one that I'm going to probably think is my, my ultimate keeper out of the set here. So there we have it. That's a very simple and easy way to do a sweep of your imported images and be able to apply settings to those images so that you can better hone down your film strip and make your workflow a lot easier. 
And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.